Manjuro Weight Loss Journey, day six through day 12. Welcome friends, I'm Elizabeth. I am the Countess of Shopping. Make sure you go down into the description link below. I have a free Manjaro and Wegovy weight loss group. Uh, would love to have you if you're on the Manjaro weight loss journey, on the Wegovy weight loss journey, or any other um, injectable, you know, weight loss injectables. Feel free to join us. They are linked down below in the description. Okay, let's dive in. Let's dive into our Manjaro journey update. I'm actually going to be doing a get ready with me. I'm on set here um, for my Amazon live show. And I'm going to be going live with iRobot here in like the next hour. So I'm getting ready to go do that. But I wanted to give you guys a weight loss update um, and kind of do two birds with one stones and talk to my girlfriends and my guy friends. Um, how is your week going? I want to know if you are on Manjaro or Wegovy, what has been the biggest surprise to you uh, with doing it? For me, I think it was during this period i thought at this point i erroneously thought i would have zero cravings <laughs> i am surprised uh that i'm still having cravings and still having somewhat of um that i'm still fighting cravings and i didn't think that i would be having that at this point in time by the way this is called pink drink it's by sunday riley i'm obsessed with it particularly for winter it helps to set um your face but it also is really, really nice if for drier weather, like the winter right now. It's one of my new favorites. Um, I'll link that down below in the description link. Okay, here's my update. It's um, the day before my second shot, and I'm hungry right now. I'm making myself a decaf coffee and a sparkling water. I really want food, and I've had healthy tacos tonight. I just had a piece of toast, and I'm still hungry, so... <sighs> I don't like that I'm feeling like this hungry late at night, so I'm just gonna get out of the kitchen and go upstairs and drink my decaf coffee and sparkling water. But I'm kind of surprised that I'm having this feeling. I, it's the day before my next shot, so I'm hoping tomorrow I'll feel full. The dog is telling me he's being a good watchdog tonight too. So my coffee, my water and I, decaf, are gonna go upstairs and not eat. Does anyone else have this issue the day before their shot getting really, really hungry? Or is it just me? I would love to know in the comments if anyone else has experienced this being on Manjaro prescription, Wegovy prescription, or any of the weight loss medications. Would love to know your experience if you have a hunger before, like the day before your next shot. It's the day so please let me know down in the comments below. I'm super, super curious if anyone else has had this. I forgot to put my moisturizer on. I've been testing different moisturizers for Amazon Live. Um, has anybody else experienced that who has been on longer term, the Wegovy shot or on um, Monjero? are you having cravings? Like it's bad, like I'm literally white knuckling it. My knuckles are white, no, just kidding. My knuckles aren't white, but like I literally just feel like I'm clawing on and I was not expecting this. I thought erroneously at this point it would be easy breezy beautiful cover girl, honey. I thought that with the Manjaro injectable that it was home free. I had been fighting to get the prescription. I thought that was gonna be the biggest hurdle that I was gonna have with Manjaro and it's been somewhat frustrating. I think I went in overly glossing this of how much harder than I thought it was gonna be. So, I have been having cravings. Now, part of this, probably a little TMI, is that I'm near my cycle, and so maybe that's part of it too, is that um, I'm getting ready to start my cycle, and that's just normally contributing to it, but it's a lot. Like, it's way more than I had anticipated it being, and I don't, I was not prepared to continue fighting at the level in which I'm fighting. Because if y'all, I mean, if you're watching this, for me, I'm a food addict. And so if you're not a food addict, you just don't understand. I had someone so, help, meaning like I could tell their heart was so in the right place. They're like, well, just don't eat it. And I'm like, you are not a food addict. <laughs> if I could just not eat it, I wouldn't be in the position where I'm in where I need to lose a lot, a lot, a lot of weight. So that's where with this, it's not just don't eat things. Like it just doesn't work that way for me. If it did, I wouldn't be where I'm at and seeking an injectable to help me with um, weight loss management. So I'm going to keep writing this out because I do think that there is an end in sight, but here's the crazy part. Just when I was getting ready to make this video, like I was planning out what I was going to say for my update, um, we went out to dinner at Mexican and I normally, when we go, um, eat a lot, like full disclosure, eat a lot, like really enjoy Mexican when we go. I just, that's where I've been recently and I, I just have wanted to eat. <laughs> And I couldn't finish, my meal was, um, I had a plate. I don't want to say it because I don't want to trigger anyone else. I had a plate and I couldn't finish it. Like, I, I couldn't finish it. That's never, 
ever been the case. We've been going to this restaurant since we moved here um, to rural Virginia um, like eight years ago. I've always finished my plate. When we were there, I could not finish it. I had to take it home, and so I took it in a to-go box. I looked at my husband. I'm like, I'm so full, I think I could throw up. And he's like, I know why. And I was like, do you think? Do you think that it's the shot? And he's like, yeah, absolutely, it's the shot. And I'm like, okay, well, so that is... I was not expecting to be that full. The cravings are still there, but um, my body, sorry, I dropped my, my thing, but my body was like, no man, Pam, you're gonna vomit. Like, literally I was like, if I eat one more bite, I'm gonna throw up completely in the restaurant. I need to stop. So that was new this week, and I have never experienced that, um, like that before, because usually I'm not, like, I'm all in when we go to Mexican. It's one of my favorite foods. I love eating it. Um, I was all like ready to go really, really enjoy myself. And it had been a stressful day. Like it's just been stressful recently and it's dark because it's winter time and it's gloomy and depressing. And anyways, um, I, I, I was very surprised by that. So that was one of my other questions for you is when you've had Mongero, A, have you had cravings? And then B, have you been like, um, you just are so full that you feel like you're gonna throw up? And how quickly did that happen for you? That's my other question for people who've been on the drug, you know, a month or longer. How quickly did that come for you? I've heard for some people it happened right away and I erroneously thought it was gonna happen for me right away. That has not been the case. That has not been the case. So I did have a bunch of blood work. I'm gonna do another update on that coming up too, talking about blood work and um, getting like my vitals updated and stuff like that. Cause I do wanna do a little update on that as well. Cause I think that's an important piece of this is making sure, you know, like the whole intention is to be healthy. Of course it's to lose weight, but it's also for health reasons. Um, let me just get my nose, there we go. Um, it's, of course it's for like health, but it's also for um, weight loss too. But, sorry, I'm like trying to contour and talk at the same time and apparently I'm having a lot of struggle. Um, so anyways, that's my update basically. I, I've been very surprised. I, I thought, I just didn't think I'd be in this boat right now. And so that was shocking to me. I'm not stopping. Oh, that was the other thing. Someone had asked me and I was like, well, let me go ask my doctor to see if they'll up the dosage. And my doctor's like, no, it will cause, is it pancreatitis? It'll cause something like pancreatitis, one of the, like, it'll cause something if you up the dose too quickly. And it doesn't matter, like I'm a big chickadee. I'm six feet tall, I'm a thick milkshake. I'm like, oh, my body can handle it. Like somebody who's 200 pounds, versus where I'm trying to get down to, um, that they would be needing a lesser dose and that I could take a higher dose. And she's like, no, it's your body actually absorbing it. So that was very helpful. And one of my awesome friends also then um, was sharing that with me too, which led me to go check with my doctor who was talking about it. So that was super, super help helpful for me that it's not good to jump that dose. Like don't jump the dose. Um, but I did get another prescription, so I have, I still have two more weeks on this, which is 2.5 milligrams, before I go up to five milligrams. Um, so I still have two more weeks of this. I'm like, oh, am I gonna have to white knuckle it for the next two weeks? I hope not, I hope not, like I really don't want to. I really, really don't want to, but maybe. I know that there's an end in sight coming with this. Like there's gotta be relief coming. For the people who are in our um, free group that we have, have been talking about it and have been sharing about like how they're so hungry. They have to have like protein supplement drinks and things like that. And I'm like, I so want that to be my life. Like I so just want that to be where I am and I'm not right now. And that's really frustrating that I'm still really, really battling this. Um, and I don't wanna be battling this. Like I just wanna be free of fighting this. Um, and feeling like I have to white knuckle it. But right now I'm really, really full, like really full. So that's good news. <laughs> I'm gonna go do my show right now. And um, I'm gonna go do my show and come say hi on iRobot, come say hello. And I'm also gonna be on Countess of Shopping also on Amazon Live too. So come say hi over there. And if you guys don't know, every Wednesday, and it's either Wednesday or Thursday, depending on Pinterest, if you guys don't follow me, I'm over live on there too, talking about all cool stuff. But the last part that I wanted to do was things that have helped me this week, <laughs> and I'll link them down below. First, I have been getting really bad leg cramps at night. Um, the doctor has confirmed that's not part of a, um, a Mongero side effect, um, but that's just, I. that's not part of that. So I have been ha taking some um, <laughs> Gatorade Zero. I got that on Amazon. 
that seemingly is helpful to help make sure I've got my electrolytes. I also got this magnesium on Amazon. I will link it down below too um, in the description link. So if you are wanting some magnesium or things like that, like at nighttime I'd wake up with these Charlie horses. It did not feel good. It did not feel good. One of the ways at nighttime I'm trying to distract myself is spare. I will also link that down below. They do have the audiobook, Kindle, and I wanted the hardback version. I'll link that down below on Amazon too. That has been another one. <laughs> that has been helping to distract me at nighttime. And um, the other one is I'm going to dye my hair tonight. It's going to be a party. <laughs> I'm like, that'll keep my hands busy. And if you were curious as to what that spray was, it's the pink drink again by Sunday Riley. That has been um, one of the trending ones on Amazon beauty. And so I, I really like it. It has the peptides to help firm the skin with fermented honey and botanical extracts. So I've been loving that one. So come say hey to me over on Amazon live and let me know down in the chat. I'm super curious for your um, weight loss journey with one Jero. If you are just starting and you didn't see part one, part two, part three, go check those out first. I probably should have said that at the beginning of the, the YouTube video, but, um, it's a journey. This is a journey. This is not, I thought it was going to be a lot easier. I know it's going to get easier when I get up to that five milligrams. I do believe that's going to be a game changer for me, but right now I'm in the fight and I, there's no, like, there's no shortcuts. Like I just have to stay in this like holding pattern for another two weeks. Um, so I think that that is our show today. Uh, check out the description link down below. Let me know in the comments the answer to questions throughout the show today if you've experienced that. And if you have any other additional questions, we're going to do a QA and a um, next time as well. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. I'm Countess of Shopping. Count my blessings because life is delicious. See you again. Bye, friends.